the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Habakkuk chapter 3. Please give it to us. Habakkuk chapter 3. We will read from verse 2 and 3. Habakkuk are we there verse 3 let me see 3 there's a scripture I'm looking for that just came to my spirit it says God came from Taman and the Holy One from Mount Paran his glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of praise read verse 4 if you're a Christian and his brightness was as the light and he had horns coming out of his hands and there was the hiding place of his power amplified says in that light that came out from his hand is the hiding place god's power has a location it is hidden in light that when light comes illumination is the hiding place of his power so when light is dispensed not it is not just the word of god that blesses no satan is not afraid of the word of god the bible says the soul are sold and it was satan that came to pick the word he met the word personified himself and did not run away it is the effect the illumination that the word brings upon a man that is a threat to the devil number three every time we gather like this it is important for us to give the holy spirit an opportunity to make manifest the glory of god of his people in miracles in signs wonders miracles are proof of the love of god they are also proof of the might of god the experience of the kingdom is such that you are not just supposed to believe alone. You can taste and see that the Lord is good. There is an experience. Please listen carefully. There is an experience in the dealings of God. Hallelujah. The fourth thing that we expect in atmospheres like this is impartation. Impartation is not just anointing with oil impartation is not just falling down and standing up impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities that means that dimensions that have not yet been captured in your experience when you sit in an atmosphere like this because you see the results that your life commands is a report card it tells us the kind and the level of grace that is upon you so when god wants to change your life haven't supplied you the truths he will grant you access to the empowerment the grace of god an opportunity to produce results that only god can produce hallelujah the grace of god works like money just because you have it does not mean you can buy everything you can only buy what is at the level of that amount are we together listen if you have a thousand rand a thousand rand can buy you a good meal but it may not buy you a car so if your need is a good meal then you have enough if your need is a car you will need more of the same thing so the bible says grace and peace can be multiplied hallelujah and then number four the bible says how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity and then he begins to paint a picture he says their dwelling together is in the similitude of something that happens in the priesthood of Aaron like the oil that comes from his head to his bed to his skirt and then the Bible says there not in that location in that state 
God has commanded the blessing. So are you ready to pray one more time? Lord, give me an encounter tonight. Lift your voice, House of Treasures. Lift your voice, South Africa. Let's call upon the God of all flesh. For truly you will never be the same. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Please be seated. Let's get to the word and let's see what we can do. Please, I'd like you to be sensitive while I teach. Spiritual communications are not a lecture. A lecture stops at the realm of your mind. The word of God is able to transit beyond your mind and create an impact in your spirit. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1. He said unto me, stand up upon your feet. But he didn't have the energizing to stand. And then verse 2 says, and the spirit entered into me and set me upon my feet. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's so much to talk about. Wherever we stop tonight, we share the grace and continue. Amen. Third John. Let's start with the epistle of John. Now, John, theologically speaking, was a very interesting apostle of the Lamb because um, John had a very unique understanding about the ways of God. You would notice that every time John began his discourse in his knowledge of God and of the kingdom, he would always trace it back to the beginning. John 1 verse 1, in the beginning. All other apostles approached it from a historic standpoint. Are we together? Uh, or from um, a, a human standpoint. They would usually start with stories of the birth, the virgin birth, the trouble that came. But it was John who sustained an intelligence that was beyond the human realm. When he started the book of John, he said, in the beginning. He went back to the beginning. And when he started his epistle also, he said, this is the record. This is the message we have heard from the beginning. So John was a very interesting apostle. He was the one who opened us in detail to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. His synoptic version of the walk of the Christ upon the earth captured very richly. All other gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke didn't do justice in opening us up to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. But it was John who dedicated chapters 14, 15, 16 to open the body of Christ, for instance, to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So John is speaking here. Third John 1 will start from verse 2. Let's read together, please. One to read. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. One more time, please. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul. Help us, Holy Spirit. Now, the latter part is my concern tonight, and that is the title of my teaching tonight, even as thy soul prospereth. Hallelujah. When Jesus walked the earth, he began to challenge the government of the day. He introduced to them a dimension of spiritual reality that challenged the status quo of that day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Until then, the council were religious people who were concerned about the rituals as given to them as they had kept. And here comes this young man in fact it is very interesting because at age 12 we see jesus submitting himself to mentorship learning under the scribes the pharisees and then theologically speaking for 18 years we do not hear about jesus again we do not know where he went to and then there are all kinds of suggestions but the next time we see this young man that the bible calls the word of god he's age 30 and he's on his way to the jordan are we still together and then john is baptizing and john looks at him 
and says behold the lamb of god that takes away the sins of the world john looks at him prophetically this was the guy that i've been waiting for i hope you know that baptism was a formula to help him identify the christ that's why he stopped the moment he found jesus there was no record of him baptizing again so it was a spiritual formula that was given to him so he would baptize and look up the heavens would not open he says you can go he would baptize look up and then he sees this strange man and then prophetically he said i am not even worthy to untie the latchet of your shoe and jesus said permit it to be so you see that this i can stay there and teach all night because even the word walked under a close heaven for 30 years the logos of god personified his heavens did not open because he was the word it took a man to cause his heavens to be open this already is a message for a man of god it may be the reason you can be anointed as you are 30 years the word filled with the i mean i mean the 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 scripture and the logos of god and yet his heavens remain closed and god is watching until he comes to this strange man called elijah elijah is hidden in a body we named john the body was only a continuation of an agenda now listen very carefully elijah is not a person elijah is a mystery system that is ordained to judge babylon you have to follow me we're coming we're dealing with something serious this night the first manifestation of the spirit of elijah was in noah not even the person elijah it is the spirit that foreruns revival that every time the day of the lord is about to come elijah must be sent it's a spiritual protocol and it was only prophet malachi that saw this are we blessed so the bible tells us that this man elijah shows up every time there is an antichrist system because babylon like jezebel is an antichrist system they, they are not the names of people don't let the bodies deceive you the bodies can come and go but the systems continue are we together you have to understand my discourse so jezebel is a system that always seeks government when babylon and jezebel that she goddess every time she shows up in a region and a territory she's not concerned about any other thing but power because it is until she sits in the seat of governance so jezebel comes and insists that she's the wife of ahab and suddenly the bible says and elijah the tishbite a strange man shows up from nowhere and the entire battle is between two people not two nations elijah and jezebel Elijah stops rain, destroys the prophets of Baal, and only one person takes it personal, Jezebel. And she insists that I will take off the head of Elijah. Elijah goes to heaven, Jezebel dies, sin two. Jesus is on earth. And suddenly Elijah resurfaces in a strange man eating locusts and wild honey. We gave him the name John. The Bible says he came in the spirit and the power he came as a continuation of the mission of elijah suddenly jezebel resurfaces in a lady called herodias and the discourse continues are we together when john is done baptizing he finds himself in prison and on a, an anniversary like this a girl dances before the king and they say what do you want she now consults with her mother and says that head that i promised i would take off i want an end to this ministry i want an end to this system because when there is no john there is no open heavens when there is no elijah even the word walks under closed heaven I don't even know how I got here. That's, that's really not what, what I'm talking about. But now, listen, South Africa, please hear me. 
so jesus began to introduce his his teachings were strange the people followed him and now he gathered and started his conference and they paid attention to the content of his discussion he now began to teach them about another kingdom he was now sharing with them the modus operandi of another kingdom and it was strange his examples the context of his communication in luke chapter 4 when you read from verse 15 down the bible says he came to the temple to read as his custom was then it was given to him the scroll of Esaias the prophet he holds it and then he begins to read the messianic prophecy the spirit of the lord is upon me he says for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to set at liberty the captives are we together now then he closes the book and says this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears he looks at a woman with a withered hand and says stretch forth your hand that means i have come as a manifestation of another kingdom now listen please so the bible clearly tells us that there is a contention between two kingdoms you have to understand this there are seven dimensions of the gospel that the bible teaches i'll only give you two of them one the first is called the gospel of salvation please listen this is a believers conference and god is maturing us the gospel of salvation is a revelation of the substitutionary sacrifice in fact is the revelation of the father's love when you teach the gospel of salvation god is father the mediator is the son who is savior and substitute the object the recipient of that love is man are we together now yes so the gospel of salvation is an attempt to reveal the father's love personified in the sacrifice of a man to the end that if we believe that report and receive the son it was apostle john who said this is the record that god hath given us zoe eternal life and then he says listen carefully he says that the, that life was so constructed such that you cannot receive it without the son it is whoever hath the son that also had that life but that is not the only dimension of the gospel listen very carefully the assignment of the gospel of salvation is to initiate you into the kingdom experience it is not supposed to stop the journey i will give you the first and the seventh the seventh is called the gospel of the kingdom now when you teach the gospel of the kingdom god is no longer father alone he is king the saints are no longer weak recipients of love they are ambassadors they are witnesses now mandated the gospel of salvation is the demonstration of god's love to you the gospel of the kingdom is your response back to him so now you become an ambassador mandated to advance the frontiers of the kingdom are we together now if this understanding is barren in the believer nothing else in your kingdom experience will make sense it is purpose that gives value to any experience before we begin to discuss the subject of wealth and abundance and prosperity and increase and all of these things it is important for us to understand the motivation behind the heart of god otherwise every other thing will be valueless are we blessed so jesus begins to introduce in a mentorship session that we call the beatitudes it was an attempt to begin to introduce the people to kingdom living say kingdom, kingdom. hallelujah now jesus begins to teach and then he now comes to introduce a concept of prayer and he says after this manner he said pray ye abba father who art in heaven hallowed be your name then he uses a very strange expression your kingdom come by your will being done in earth not on earth the first piece of earth that needs the kingdom is you this earthen vessel not just territory both you and the territory are all earth so your kingdom come 
in earth your will be done that's how the kingdom comes when his will is being done are we together now and with many other exhortations he started introducing them to kingdom living by the time jesus is on his way to heaven they had understood the concept of kingdom that they were not people just loitering around the earth without an agenda that it was a contention of two kingdoms number one the kingdom that promotes the interest of the christ number two the kingdom that is antichrist in context this is the beginning of my teaching proper you have to understand this brothers and sisters south africa africa the entire globe is a is, is there are not many things happening on earth there are many activities but there are only two agendas the exaltation and the revelation of the christ and the contention of that agenda every other thing is sandwiched between this your landlord issue your education they are only subsets of a bigger problem you have to understand this the mandate of the church and the believers is to be able to reveal and exalt the christ to establish his purposes first in the hearts of men then across every strata of human activities this is our corporate agenda and that we belong to a kingdom the bible says that when a believer encounters the christ there is a translation do you believe that a literal translation from the kingdom of darkness the bible says into the kingdom so there is a translation of kingdoms just because you are translated does not mean the other kingdom is null and void it is still there with an agenda are we blessed so jesus is talking to them about the church now in matthew 26 and he says who do men say that i the son of man is and they began to debate about who they thought he was and he says now you've walked with me what is your verdict and peter speaking by the spirit he said i know who thou art thou art christ the son of the living god and he said flesh and blood hath not revealed this to you is that true but the spirit of my father and this i say unto you thou art peter and upon this strategy i will build my church the rock is not peter the rock is not most of these things we talk about the rock is a strategy i will build my church upon a strategy there is a formation and if allowed to be built thus the bible says the gates of hell so jesus acknowledges that there is an arsenal that looms around the horizon attempting to sabotage the program of god please follow me let's make sense of our christian experience apostle why did i find myself suddenly barren you are in the middle of a story you are in the middle of an agenda that predates even your arrival here it's a contention of two kingdoms apostle why should i prosper why does the devil attempt to fight me why do i need to be committed to kingdom advance listen anything that we do in the kingdom does not really capture the level of value and impact until it is tied to kingdom come kingdom come is what gives value to every strategy it gives value to your prosperity it gives value to your receiving the anointing it gives value to your evangelism everything that you are doing on its own is only a means to an end what gives life and value is that whatever you are doing is a contribution towards that agenda called thy kingdom come are we together so we're establishing the fact that we are in the midst of two kingdoms they are real kingdoms just because they are spiritual does not mean they do not exist because everything spiritual must express itself in the physical realm that's the technology of creation hebrews 11 verse 3 the bible says through faith we understand that the walls were framed they had their formation from a realm and a dimension that is outside of this realm so physical things are only a reflection of what is happening in the realm of the spirit are we together now job the story of job teaches us that things must be finished in the realm of the spirit before they begin here this is true 
so we have two kingdoms every one of you looking at me those following online from whatever nation we are in a contention between two kingdoms the kingdom of light the kingdom of darkness the system that seeks to exalt the christ and babylon an antichrist system a system so designed by the intelligence of satan to see to it that the purposes of god are thwarted hallelujah praise the lord are we blessed now let's go back to our initial scripture the bible says third john beloved now john is telling us that god desires us to prosper but he's giving us a secret that we'll study tonight as we pray may god open our eyes to see in the name of jesus he's saying that in an attempt to do well in life there is a side effect that i want to give you a precaution immediately that there is something satan seeks he does not seek money he does not seek your healing or your health he does not seek your business that what satan is after is the souls of men and he's saying that every time you press to prosper there is a side effect and so he's giving a precaution that as you rise make sure you continually check that your soul is also prospering Are we together <laughs> mm. Matthew Mark chapter 8 from verse 36 and 37 Mark chapter 8 the Bible says what shall it profit hello business people profit we are discussing profit here but the commodity is the world and the soul not pure um what they call it now um we, we have in nigeria we have what we call pure water and then we have um clothes we have all kinds of things when you say you are in business usually you will bring a product my cloth my water my this and the bible is saying that the real commodity for exchange is the world and your soul look up jesus is talking profit here so if you're a businessman you should pay attention because he's discussing profit what shall it profit a man so men can profit but he says if you gain the wall and lose your soul this is this is not this is not a salvation message this is a business message that in doing business you can gain certain things and lose certain things and he's saying you have not profited if your soul is what you are losing are we blessed so the soul can be traded please listen church of the lord jesus christ you can only buy what can be sold and jesus is saying here that the world can be sold and a man's soul can also be sold are we together and he's saying what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and loses his soul he revealed here the technology of prosperity when you are dealing with the antichrist system that there is a strategy satan knows that men must prosper satan knows that they are desperate that our world is controlled by economic power and so he does not listen the strategy is that he's waiting somewhere in your life and he's only interested in your soul not your product that sooner or later you will be introduced to the negotiation table and he will give you an offer that i can give you the world and all i want oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you oh god you are my god 
and I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. I have learned to walk in your ways. For step by step you lead me. And I will follow you all of my days. Matthew chapter 4. Please look up. There were three temptations that Satan brought to Jesus, which is a revelation of how Satan baits men. You let me tell you, you will never access kingdom wealth if you do not understand what I'm teaching you. This is how to make men prosper. It's more than a business seminar. It's a revelation of an agenda that is bigger than buying and selling. Are we best? You see what you get in church. You don't get this in a bank. I was glad when they said unto me. Now Satan. Verse 1. Matthew chapter 4. Then Jesus was led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Now Satan wants to tempt Jesus. Two interesting characters and we must study them carefully because the bible says looking up to jesus that means understudy him are we together now isn't it amazing that while jesus was fasting satan was waiting patiently so sometimes your fast attracts the devil it doesn't jesus is fasting and praying just understand what i'm teaching you afterwards he was hungry verse 3 we're reading to verse 11 the moment he's done fasting ladies and gentlemen the first person he meets is not the holy ghost it's not an angel satan left earth and was waiting for that fast and he engages in a conversation if thou be the son of god that means that the point of satan's temptation is what god said if god has not spoken he has no business coming he wants to know what god said because his power follows his word we studied it that the word the light of god is the hiding place of his power walk with me i'm trying to work a lot of things and just put them together are we together now the bible says the tempter came to him and said if thou be the son of god command that these stones be made bread next verse and jesus said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of god men of god i'm sure during the pastor's conference and business conference tomorrow will teach on this there are three temptations that represent challenges that everybody must overcome the first level is your belly your personal needs he came to him and he said you are hungry remember leave ministry your stomach is making a lot of noise you can turn this stone to bread and jesus said my obsession about that agenda is bigger than my need that's how he overcame that first temptation now second the bible says he take him up you see when you read read intelligently how do you take a man up by holding him satan is holding the word and he's not shaking he's not falling he's saying me and the word is following him <laughs> now watch this satan taken him up into the holy city how they entered there and that location is strange because if that location were physical people will come around in all of these locations they were the only two people and set him on a pinnacle of the temple what was the temptation if thou be the son of god cast yourself down so the temptation of great people is to fall down after all you will be held when you rise high the temptation is carelessness you can fall there will be a way to hold you He sh and it, he said it is written he shall give his angels charge concerning thee and in their hands satan is quoting this scripture next temptation that is my concern for tonight it is written thou shalt not tempt the lord your god uh -huh. and then verse 8 again now south africa let's talk 
the devil taken him up into an exceeding high mountain the mountain zechariah talked about the mountain Haggai talked about he said go up the mountain bring wood build me a house you don't find wood on the mountain you find wood in the forest so that kind of wood is not the wood you are thinking there is a kind of wood that is only found on the mountain and we use that wood to build God a house that he may be glorified and the Bible says he took him to a mountain mountains talk about spheres of influence you know that and then the Bible says he showed him the kingdoms where is that location that you can stand and suddenly see the kingdoms of this world and the glory of them hmm. Satan takes Jesus to a location where only two of them can go and he stands from there and sees the entire glory of the cosmos and then he says verse 9 all these things what things the kingdoms of this world are we together and the glories of them i will give you this is a businessman look how satan is marketing a product he said see it first let me show you the glories of the cosmos and then he said now that you have seen it the greatest way listen i will give you and all i want in return is fall down and worship so this is how you sell your soul watch this i hope are, are you are, am i is it making sense what i'm teaching you we are finding out how men sell their souls and satan is teaching us that he's a businessman it's interesting that he calls selling giving he didn't say i will sell you the world he says i will give you but all i want in return is fall down and worship me why because the christ came as the express image of god remember his assignment was to run a parallel government i hope you still remember and now one comes who is christ the manifestation of the father's glory and he says bow so that i can look at the father and say what i failed to do that i was judged from heaven now that i have your son who is the express image of the father to bow down does not just mean to bend down to bow down is to acknowledge lordship allow me in experience to be lord the word lord means absolute owner absolute manipulator of your life and i will give you the glories do you understand what john is teaching now that beloved i wish above all things that you prosper however because your prosperity is around the cosmos one day a stranger is going to come and give you an invitation and the context of that invitation is he will show you the glories of the cosmos and he will give you an offer the offer is bow down and i will give you the glories daniel chapter 3 babylon the antichrist government is about to show us and buttress on this system and how it operates when you understand this and you stand and say lord i truly give you everything you will now know what you are saying nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of an image of not an image of mortar the image was made with gold hmm. the height of it was 90 feet and he set it up in the plain of dura in the province of babylon please follow me patiently next verse nebuchadnezzar now watch this he sets up his image notice do you know that in the dealings of god with men 
you never glorify yourself the dominion system is a shared system watch this you will receive glory by investing your glory in another outside of you so the father does not glorify himself he gets his glory from the son the son does not glorify himself he gets his glory from the church in partnership with the holy spirit the church cannot glorify herself she gets her glory from her dominion over the cosmos so this is how the father the son the church is glorified but the antichrist spirit always seeks to promote self so we see that here nebuchadnezzar builds 90 feet using gold take note of that word gold are we working this thing out together and then the bible says look at the people he gathered look at the caliber don't notice that some people here were not invited look at the kind of people who were gathered to come and witness the stature of gold what shall it profit a man he gathered together through the influence of that gold the influence of that gold image compelled the attention of princes governors captains judges treasurers the counselors sheriffs all the rulers of the provinces come to the dedication of that image that means that gold has a voice it can call certain people it can call certain systems he built an image and made a clarion call and these nobles began to come next verse i hope you know that all these people control different sectors and systems instead of calling everybody in a system you only call the gatekeepers because when you capture the gatekeepers in a system everyone must follow through the devil is not going to go around the oil and gas or going around the mining looking for everyone one by one that that's too laborious all he needs is to find out who are the gatekeepers and he will call them for a meeting nebuchadnezzar is not just calling the citizens in babylon he's calling certain noble people to come and honor an image and they stood before the image that nebuchadnezzar had set up let's read please it says then an herald cried aloud to you it is commanded O people nations and languages uh -huh, that at what time ye hear the sound do you see the role that worship and the music ministry plays in as giving a sign that it is when the music ministry fronts this all nations bow wow <laughs> when you hear the sound of the cornet the flute the harp and all of these things together ye fall down you now see what satan was trying to get jesus to do fall down and bow before the image that nebuchadnezzar had set up next verse it says who so falleth not and worshipeth not the same hour will be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace what do they call financial catastrophe they call it a meltdown it is fire that melts things down that your failure to bow down to a system can have an effect fire you will be exposed to fire seven so when everybody heard let me run through this they now fell down verse 8 at that time certain chaldeans came near and accused the jews nine they speak unto the king they said live forever ten don't mind me i'm just summarizing it that when all this happened go to verse 11 the bible says you said this and that and that would happen verse 12 be patient the whole chapter is what is important it says there were certain south africans
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, don't generalize. There are still 7,000 who have not bowed to bear. It says there are certain South Africans. You have sent them over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. It says this man, please go back, verse 12. This man, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image. Yet they are rulers in the province. So what technology did they use? They are rising, not by bowing. Can you pray in the spirit for just one minute? Certain South Africans that said we will not bow, yet we will rise. We are a people, men and women. We, we are not just money mongers. We are not just businessmen. We are not just men of God. We understand that there is a government that we pledge our allegiance to. Just because we live and work in the cosmos, don't confuse it. Please sit down. Bastati. We're discussing something very serious. Please take it down for me again. The Bible says Nebuchadnezzar, the God of that system, was angry. Who are these men? You are doing ministry without compromise. Who are these men? I hear you don't bribe as you do business. Hold on. Who are these men? I hear you preach whether things are favorable or not. The Bible says, listen, their refusal to bow created a reaction. Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded, he said, bring them. They were brought before the king. There are two kinds of invitations. You can come before Pharaoh to be lifted, or you can come before Nebuchadnezzar to be judged. The Bible says, but the people that do know their God. The first requirement for business is not value, it's encounter. It says, I hear you do not serve my gods, nor worship the golden image I have set up 15. Now, if you are ready, I'm giving you another chance. Join the system. Don't fight it, he's saying. I'm giving you a... I, I don't want you to feel frustrated because my anger is harsh. Do not call upon the name of the Lord while you preach. Do not let any worship song play around your house. Do not let people hear the name Jesus around your business vicinity. Next verse. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O oh king, when it comes to this matter, we have respected you, but you have touched a nerve. We are about to show you we are not just workers in your kingdom. We are only using the system to serve another government. There's an army rising up. Someone please play for me. Come on. Someone should be able to play that for me. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain, yeah. Break every chain. Please sit down. Please sit down. Please sit down. My God, 
I sense a strong anointing here. Please give me a little volume, my friend. Now listen. He said, all thing, when it comes to our civil duties, we will honor you. But when you touch our loyalty to this government, we are not just workers. Kali Parus. We are not just workers. I may be a clerk, but I'm not just a clerk. I am one in fraternity with a government higher than the government of any state. My the chains for Hallelujah. Please sit down. Let's deal with this thing. Please sit down. It says, We are this determined to see his glory revealed that our God is able to deliver us from the effect that the system will bring on our serving him. He says, And we know he will deliver us. Next verse. But if not, be it known unto thee that this fraternity is not for things, that I'm not just serving him for promotion. The context of my is my listen, this right here is faith. Faith is not only the power to receive. Faith is also the power to lay down. Time will fail me. The Bible says to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, shut the mouth of lions. The Bible says women who received their dead to life and it says others died without receiving the promise. It's still called all of them elders that obtained a good report. Listen, South Africa, if the context of your Christianity is until lifting comes, until promotion comes, you must get to a point where you say, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I have made up my mind is a commitment that my children will serve my God, that my business will serve my God, that my... There will be a generation in South Africa that preserves the heritage of revival and power is good to make money is good to rise is good to increase but our children must call upon the god of the fathers please sit down sit down i sense a strong anointing in this place Sit down. Please 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 sit down. The Bible says there is a consequence when you make up your mind that, that will not do this kind of business. We are not talking about oil and gas. Now watch this please. When you read on, please go to verse 20. Let's hurry up. That is the last verse. He commanded as a result, bind these people, throw them into a system that's uncomfortable. Throw them into a, he said, bind them, bind their productivity, tie their hands, tie their capacity to go forward and throw them. Was it not the hands of Samson that was tied? Every time the devil wants to ravage a people, he ties their hands. Listen now. Tie their hands, tie their feet, throw them into fire that was made seven times hotter. Increase the rent, and she would change her mind. Increase the bills, he would renegotiate his passion for God. Two years ago, you vowed that I would serve him, and now. He increases the heat and you begin to negotiate 
I I know that I came to you and you said I must sleep with you for the job I said God forbid but now is that door still open because the pressure on me he said tie their hands tie their feet throw them into fire 21 be patient we're almost there these men were bound in their coats their hearts their garments they were cast into the midst of the fire 22 Shila Parus Kadabaranda that this fire was so hot the flames slew those who put them inside next verse they were all within 24 then the king was astonished and he rose up and spake and said did we not cast three men bound into this system they answered yes O king it is true however 25 I see four men and the form of the fourth is like the son of God keep this scripture but Isaiah 43 and verse 1 and 2 says fear not I have redeemed you it says I have called you by name you are mine it says when you walk through the waters it will not destroy you through the river it will not drown you it says when you walk through fire i will be with you 26 we are ready to 30 and we're done nebuchadnezzar came to the mouth of the furnace and spake and this is what he said pastor felix mama felix house of treasures ye servants of the most high come forth come hither and they came out in the midst of the fire 27 this miracle happened in the presence of the princes the governors and everybody he says watch this i want to show you something he says being gathered together he saw this man whose bodies the fire had no power he saw men whose business the fire had no power he saw ministries whose whose bodies the fire had no power verse 28 blessed be the name of the lord it says and nebuchadnezzar spake and said blessed be the god of shadrach meshach and abednego who had sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve or worship any god except their own god as a result this is all god is looking for not your money not your business i make a decree that every people nation language which speak anything against the god of shadrach meshach and abednego shall be cut in pieces their houses etc etc then the king <laughs> then babylon then south africa promoted Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in hell. But even as thy soul, sit down. Please look up. Please listen to me. We are going to pray. There are many people on earth who have transacted this kind of business the business is always transacted in a lonely place where you are given the world and you sell your soul 
I can know even though I was not there because when I see you rising I don't look at what is empowering you I look at your soul listen it is impossible under this system to prosper even as thy soul prospers no no I know you are prospering the Antichrist way when you suddenly get a promotion and there's no longer time for prayer watch this sit down let me show you how it works suddenly branches have been opened your name is everywhere it is not that an occultic person has to come directly it's a system it strangles your spiritual life and allows other things grow that's how you know you are fraternizing with babylon and you say when i had five members i could pray i could fast but now god i don't have time i need to catch a flight i need to travel around the world there is a demand on my ministry and heaven watches you are prospering at the expense of your soul yes sir yes sir lord i loved you until that relationship came I, I, I'm too committed to this guy. I, I can't give you 30 minutes, one hour. Lord, you, you know how relationship is in our generation. I, I am desperate for marriage. I'm desperate for growth. Please, can your presence wait for me? When I need an emergency, I will come to you. And so, under this system, God becomes a ladder that we use to get money. A ladder we use to get fame a ladder we use to get anointing it is fraternity with babylon are we together i pledge allegiance to the lamb with all my heart with all i am i will seek to honor his commands i pledge allegiance to the lord if it's not in your presence if it's not by your hands if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it for everything I need is in you if it's not in your presence I'm not that desperate if it's not by your hands if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it For everything I need is in you. What shall it profit a man? If your ministry is spreading around the world, dear man of God, and you are making a name and making the headlines, but I check your soul, and the last time you prayed was two months because you are busy preaching. Ministry can be an idol. Anointing can be an idol. hear me this is how we prosper <laughs> lord bless me and see what i will do god says i don't need to bless you i see already you know people people disrespect money people say well, money cannot if you are joking money has real power it can change men money can relocate you from the will of god into somewhere you have no business being money can introduce relationships into your life that help to sit on your soul while it dies hallelujah see let me tell you when you are walking with god and god starts to deal with you 
whether you understand what he's saying or not believe him you can be walking on god increase me and god looks at you and says there is lost in your heart you say me god forbid god you are talking like that because you don't have a car yet of course who will come to you in that state and so god is saying before you disappoint yourself trust my all-seeing eye I hope you like what I'm sharing tonight. Listen to me. I show you there are people who may not be featured in the move of God in the days that come. And I don't mean this in a sarcastic way. Yes. John 2, the old wine has finished. We were in the feast and the wine finished yet the business still looks like it is growing yet ministry is still expanding but the wine is finished but there were a group of people in that feast they said something is wrong with this formation where is the lord of the feast he has been thrown somewhere in the congregation while we receive the praises and they came to jesus and said we know something is wrong with this formation the wine has finished let me show you something this is prophetic and then we'll pray revelations chapter 18. hallelujah praise the lord i'm about to pray i just saw a wind there are two people the power of god is coming on them with a loud shout please bring them out i just saw a wind just blowing this way it's a very strong impartation it's coming on two of them now please bring them don't let me have it revelations 18 everything i need is in Verse 2, please look up. We're about to pray. Your pastor told you your life will not be the same. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great, is fallen. This is a prophetic word to the body of Christ. It's a prophetic word to the church. It's not a word of condemnation it is the announcing of the new season because the jealousy of the bridegroom is drawing him closer watch this babylon the great is fallen is fallen and is become the habitations of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean bird next verse for the nations watch this have drunk the wine of her fornication watch this it says the kings of the earth have done what committed fornication with her who is her babylon and the merchants the rich men of the earth they was rich through the abundance of her delicacy that this is the source of the mysterious risings in spite of the fact that they disobey the laws of the kingdom there is a fraternity in the realm of the spirit that is greater than buying and selling next verse i heard another voice from heaven saying south africa come out of her come out come out my people that ye be not partakers of our sins and that ye receive not her plagues five for her sins have reached the heavens and god had remembered her iniquities verse six let's go to verse eight therefore shall her plagues come in one day death and mourning and famine and she shall be utterly born with fire for strong is the lord who judged her nine verse 9 now the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her 
shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning verse 10 seeing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city that mighty city how soon will it fall in one hour shadows in one hour next verse there's something i want to show you the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man buy yet of her merchandise anymore a day will come the spirit of revival will stop men will say no this can't be it god is so much bigger than me Verse 12. Now, let's look up. This is what this businesswoman called Babylon sells. We are examining all her products. Look at what she sells. Ready? She sells gold. That's where Nebuchadnezzar got it from. She sells silver. She sells precious stones. She sells pearl, fine linen, purple, silk, all manner of ivory, most precious wood, brass iron marble 13 cinnamon odors she sells anointing she sells frankincense she sells wine she sells oil she sells flour read with me now and wheat aha uh -huh. and bees south africa and sheep and horses what does she sell again and chariots and slaves and she sells even souls so if i want influence i can come to her and say give me fame and she will give you the souls of men and men will flock after you i come with a voice of prophecy the bible says blow the trumpet in zion sound if you did not hear it is because you are not in zion please listen to me there is a system that is eating into our children it's into structures satan's agenda is that one day there will rise a generation that can no longer call upon the name of the lord the bible says and adam knew his wife and she bore set and men began again to call upon the name of the lord listen the heritage of africa was built upon the blood of many who served god with life they were not as educated they were not as enlightened they did not even have depth of revelation like we do but one thing they had was their allegiance unbending in life and in death africa wake up we are about losing a heritage it may not be in our lifetime but so that we don't transit this realm with pain where is the God of our father that your child one day will say who is Jesus why do I need him I'm already blessed because you taught him that everything about Jesus is just to give you money and now that I have money without him why do I need him please listen to me I show you a key that will make you lay gold as dust is it not a law in this kingdom that we keep things by releasing them hear me i believe in this place tonight the hand of god is coming on someone here i just saw the angel of the lord just move here please bring them out right now step into a new season please bring them out Hallelujah. 
sisters tonight's teaching is not a call to tear down people tonight's teaching is not for you to start pointing your hands no no that's not how the spirit of the Christ works tonight's teaching is not a tell them teaching tonight's teaching is a call to come out of her a call to see the excellency of the prosperity of your soul listen I can know who prospered you by checking the health of your soul when i find out that the higher you rise the more your need touches the ground i know you have met his majesty when i see that the more an appointment comes the more your hunger the more your desperation madam i don't know who this woman is we're not praying tonight but in the name of jesus i'm seeing oil being poured on your head and the lord is saying i should tell you he's shifting you to a new level in the spirit I release that grace upon you step into a new level now in the name of Jesus Christ listen listen please let me announce to you not everyone has bowed to bear there are people who their hunger and their passion has driven them to realms of power realms of grace authentic dimensions of power I'm desperate for you. Hallelujah. I'm lost without you. That's the anthem of a generation. Listen. South Africa, house of treasures. Your pastor discerning by the spirit put forth this meeting as a clarion call. To wake the army of the Lord Jesus to let them know that there is a fraternity that is going on in the earth Babylon please take it hard for me and let him my dear friend from US somewhere in this meeting you are going to blow this shofar for us it's going to come by the spirit we will shake this building as a sound that we are sending to South Africa that there is a rising of the new there is a rising of men mighty and strong in the spirit another kind of man listen I vowed and I told the Lord even before he began to lift me Lord whatever will take my attention from you I don't care what it is let it go fast and as I'm standing here, God sees my heart that I'm telling him, what is fame? Listen, we have to be very careful. Some of these mundane things can distract us to a point where we will lose authentic power. The grace over territories, not just churches, not just cities. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You become a ruler over territories. An anointing is coming on you this dear lady in the name of Jesus the Lord is shifting you I don't know who you are but you are stepping into a new dimension in the realm of the spirit listen your life will never believe me when I tell you you will encounter a grace that will so shift you to dimensions in the spirit
listen my message tonight is very simple we are going to discuss other aspects of the kingdom this is not all but tonight in addition to the graces and the teachings it is a call to return it is a call leave the issue of business now leave the issue of i want speed it will come tonight is you you are the commodity yourself man of god forget about ministry and focus on his presence that's the key to growth the key to running is staying apostle i want power i want growth i want to prophesy i know you are sincere but that drive will only lead you to perdition in the beginning god in the beginning god in the beginning of your business god not money in the beginning of ministry god in the beginning of marriage god he is called alpha omega listen that any relationship in my life that is strangling the health of my soul is too expensive it's not worth it there's no such thing as we were born together no sir you don't have to condemn people and insult people and cause trouble but it's time he says when elijah called all of them he called the prophets of Baal. he says if god be god let him be god if Baal be god let him be god and then he says choose you this day somewhere in scripture whom you will serve man of god choose you this day businessman choose you this day my dear precious sister my dear precious brother choose you this day as for me i've made my choice that we live for his majesty i love him more than preaching believe me when i tell you i love him more than anointing more than power i will throw this ministry a thousand times to honor his presence if he tells me this is my last sermon as a preacher i stand before the god of heaven as i close this bible I will never open it to preach again. That's how much I love him. Simon Bajona, lovest thou me more than this? We're about to cry in this place. Listen. Tonight is not a night of, I am an apostle. I am a prophet. Tonight is a night where we will come and say, Lord, I'm tired of lying search my heart it's not a call to condemnation it's a call to intentional reflection for if it is listen the glory of God comes to confirm that his patterns have been followed when his patterns are violated like Cain the sacrifice will be. so we're going to pray I may not have the time my friend lift your hands step into a new level in the spirit a grace is coming upon you you're a young man but in the name of Jesus the Lord will use you mightily even in this nation He's calling us deeper, 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 deeper. He's calling us deeper, deeper. Salabaranda Shalatia Sabas. Listen, in the next five minutes. Please forget about who is sitting by your left and right. You are going to cry before his majesty and say, Lord, search my heart. I'm not here to lie. I'm not here to pretend. In all sincerity, I come before you, the God of my salvation. I come with my heart broken and contrite that if there be any way and any pattern 
that negates your workings in my life i come before i ask for a purging and a cleansing that brings power south africa lift your voice and let's cry to the heavens This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me. Where is that generation? Lift your hands, lift your voice. And I am desperate for you. Let it be a cry in your heart. And I am lost without you. I'm desperate for you And I'm Hallelujah just give me a few minutes tonight and then we're done who is grace grace i'm hearing the name grace who is that grace grace you're wearing like a green head tie something green you didn't tie your head completely who is that is there someone like that what's your name my dear grace where are you coming from you are from Please give her the mic. What, what do you have to do with um, Congo DRC? That's where I'm from. Sir. Where are you from? Congo. Congo. I want to pray for you because you are stepping into a new anointing. I stretch my hands. I bring you a grace that shifts you to a new level. May your life never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. You can know that you met him. Hallelujah praise the lord now please hear me i know that we don't have all the time tonight but listen tomorrow and friday i want you to come with all your families even if it's for you to sit on the roof please find a way i may not have the time tonight to minister to the sick and all of that but the lord sent me here to come and join hands with the mighty men and women of god in this city and this nation to lift up the banner of the name and the grace of the Christ to see to it that the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ hallelujah is there a place called is it Pumalanga something like that is, is that a name I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it correctly Pumalanga was that a nation estate who is from there hold on please that person there are two of them the power of God will come on them now bring them from that region 
that region bring them Please bring them we're around you know. We are from the east. Listen, this is a ministry of signs and wonders. God, it, it is not. I'm a man. Look at me. Please look at me. I am a man. We are only men who have been helped by God. And the Lord uses us like this not to show that we are superhuman in ourselves our divinity and the extraordinary manifestation is a testament of the ministry of the holy spirit it should cause men to see him more than seeing us this is how it works and i the bible says if i be lifted from the earth i will draw all men to myself i will draw all men to myself i will draw all men to myself hallelujah one of these ladies wearing hats in front the power of god is coming on one of them please let me have these ladies in front i just saw wind listen if you're a pastor here believe me you are going to contact a grace in this conference that will so shift your ministry to a dimension of grace and power it is by the spirit of god listen listen please look at me my teaching tonight may be a bit hard but this is the chastening of the spirit it prunes us to bring us to a place of order the apostolic see the apostolic anointing is not even a preaching anointing is a governmental grace it governs the coordinates of the truths of scripture it ensures that a territory and a generation works within the jurisdiction of balance the assignment of the apostolic and the prophetic is that through the sacrifice of alignment we access the speakings of god as a portion for a generation and ensure that its dispensing is done with accuracy and as intended by the father hallelujah praise the name of the lord now please hear me that when you go back home tonight let it be a cry in your heart and say lord i join the midwives that will birth the new in south africa but hear me south africa i bring you a prophetic word before you believe a man find out about him don't just believe carelessly listen I was sleeping after we were done having breakfast and I saw a vision I saw a vision of a woman about to give birth and that woman is South Africa hear me there is and this will start from the month of August this year there is a strange shift that is coming to the body of Christ within this territory please hear what I am telling you is a double-edged sword it will come both to lift and to bring down it is not the desire of god that anything goes wrong listen don't celebrate when things go wrong with the body of christ the goal is the christ lifted so you must understand what i'm teaching you are we together now it is true that we are at different levels it is true that our levels of sacrifices and alignment is true that here and there flesh may be prevalent in people but hear me christ is still in the midst of south africa and let me speak to you more than pointing fingers we must now begin to point our attention to his majesty because as we behold him that's where we are changed hallelujah can we pray two prayer points and we're done for tonight prayer point number one lord find a vessel in me a vessel it's true that god is prospering us 
but tonight's teaching is even as your soul prospers father i repentance is not a language for sinners listen the word repent is not necessarily a sinner's language repent, repent, pattern. it is the system by which we become more like christ paul prayed and said my little children of whom i travail on ice be formed the formation of the christ have a mystery called repentance pray say lord search my heart and help me i desire to walk genuinely with you in truth lift your voice and pray genuinely genuinely yes sir now please just let me five minutes and we're done my dear friend from the u.s is just going to play something just play this song and as he's playing i'd like you to pray and while we pray I'm just going to speak over your life and we're done for tonight. Yes, sir. Lift your voice and make sure you pray. Lord, in this move of your spirit that is coming to South Africa, this financial renaissance, this apostolic and prophetic move of the spirit, I open up my heart and I declare that I am available and I am usable. let there be a restoration of the prayer fire upon our altars let there be a restoration of hunger and passion for God upon our altars let there be a restoration of a determination to live for him a determination to be reflectors of his glory and power and grace We will not bow. Here comes a generation that will not bow to bell. Here comes a generation that is uncompromising. Here comes a generation that will stay to the end. Here comes a generation that will last to the end. Hallelujah. Now please hear me. I know that our time is gone, but I must pray one prayer. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing several chains several chains on people this is what I see just one prayer I want to pray because it will be unfair for you to return back with that chain no what then is the excellency of his presence now the Lord is that spirit the Bible says you are about to taste and see that the Lord is good not only to believe i want to pray a prayer for you now listen please as i pray this prayer the power of the holy ghost please help that lady the power of the holy ghost will come upon some of you and it is to break chains this is not impartation this is to break chains so that you are free hallelujah help them please i want to pray listen you will never be the same never at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name many of you age-long captivity that has see every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it please listen to me right now in the name of jesus i come to you south africa by the rod of a higher priesthood and i stand in the name of jesus in partnership with all the graces in this place i declare the count of three that every force that is not of the christ and every manipulation of darkness tying down the destinies of men it's time that you go now at the count of three you shout jesus one two three be free now be free now please help them help them please i command chains be broken chains be broken Chains be broken. Chains. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. South Africa be released by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring you the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Be free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Father, let close doors tonight. Manifestations of the Spirit. Lift up your hands and say, Father, do the impossible. For with God, all things are possible. Go ahead and worship Him. Let faith rise in your spirit. Forget about your challenges. Lift up your eyes. Oh, yes, He's in this place. There's faith in this place. Praise to do the impossible. Ashaka ba 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 ba. Le para da bossa na 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 ma ya na na na. Se pa ya le bossa ba 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 ba. Sicknesses, cancers, tumors, blindness, lameness, poverty, oppression, fear, lack, defeat, delay. Oh, dead, where is thy sting? Let faith rise tonight. Jesus is in this place, inside and outside. Mighty presence is in this place. Lord, we give you praise. Yes, you will do mighty things. Do the impossible. Thank you. Hallelujah. I challenge you tonight. Let faith rise. God will shock you this night. Are you listening to me? I'm not trying to motivate you. God will surprise you beyond your imagination. There's, there's, there's no discussion with your challenges tonight. Are you listening to me? There's no round table discussion. We are not here tonight for discussion. For light shines. Oh, his presence is mighty in this place. His presence is mighty. You see the angels of God inside and outside. Angels of God. I see angels, manifestations of angels already. Strange order of angelic activities. Makaposa Pariada. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Everywhere, inside and outside. Strange operation. Of the angelic Pakopa Reke Pariadai, Databasete Pariadai, Enkrotoso Tobariadai, Makaboro Sopai. No discussion tonight. I glorify your name. Listen, in all the earth. In all the earth, I glorify your in all the earth. As I raise this song, the power of God is already moving. I glorify your name in all the earth. I glorify your name in all the earth, in all the earth.
shout out. Come on, glorify him. I glorify. Give hey. him praise By for his name. mighty presence. In all the earth. Mighty presence in this place. To heal and to deliver. I don't care what the challenge is. I don't care what the sickness is. His presence is in this place. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, brothers and sisters, you are in for an experience that will change your life tonight. I'd like you to believe it. You're in for an experience that will transform your life tonight. It's called a miracle service. That's exactly what is going to happen. The Lord himself will be stepping in to change impossible situations. You will watch right before your eyes. Mountains crumble at the presence of the majestic one. The Bible says the mountains keep like that. I magnify your name in all the earth, in all the earth. I glorify your name. I glorify, glorify your name. Glorify your name. I glorify, I glorify, glorify your name. I see several chains in the spirit hear me inside and outside and at the count of seven I already see a well-wing fire at the count of seven chains will begin to be broken please ushers get ready and bring those people out at the count of seven instrumentalists walk with me one two three four five six Seven, 
Hallelujah. Well, when you shout Jesus, this is the instruction the Holy Ghost is giving me. We are going to shout the name of Jesus just three times. Hallelujah. I see the hands of many people bound. I see chains. It looks silvery. Bound. Let's just flow with what the Spirit is doing. Jesus, three times, especially for those of you outside. Satan is in trouble tonight. I told you there's no discussion tonight. There's no discussion. Hallelujah. Inside and outside. We're going to shout Jesus three times. At the third shout, there will be such an invasion of the Holy Spirit. Chains will be broken. Are you ready? Shout it once. Jesus! Are you ready? Let's shout the second time. Jesus! Oh! Hallelujah. Now get set for the last shout, especially for those of you outside. Satan, you are in trouble. Hey, Satan, you are in trouble. The name that is above all names. The name that is above all names. Shout it one more time. Jesus! I don't know why I'm saying chains are being loose. Chains are being loose, especially outside. Chains, chains. 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 The chains Hallelujah. 
Hebrews. Hallelujah. Isaiah 60. Just lift your Bible. Isaiah 61, sorry. Isaiah 61. Now Satan, I speak to you. Let this lady go right now. I command, I see movements around your stomach. I command that demonic influence over you to be broken right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty. To the captives an opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all that mourn to appoint unto those who mourn in zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord and then it ends with a dangerous statement it said that he might be glorified that means in these things he will be glorified this is how he is glorified when the sick are healed when the captives are free when the garment of praise is given for the spirit of heaviness then he is glorified he said god is doing all of these things not just because your name is joshua he's doing it that he might be glorified that's why we're singing that song i glorify your name so when we sing it he begins to heal he begins to bless so that he will be glorified the spirit of God is in this place tonight and I see different kinds of sicknesses and challenges but I need you to know that God is going to surprise you tonight the spirit of the Lord is upon me listen to me Jesus was speaking to the disciples in John chapter 10 and verse 10 he said the thief cometh not but to steal to kill and to destroy say after me to steal to kill and to destroy the thief comes to steal satan has always been in the ministry of destroying men you can look at a life and know whether or not satan has passed through that life when satan passes through a life he leaves that life with sickness oppression poverty all kinds of trauma and our society is full of men and women who are living in fear in bondage in poverty he said the thief cometh not every time you see him in an environment he steals all the blessings that the lord has apportioned for his people he kills he destroys when satan steps into a family it doesn't matter how hard working they are he wrecks that family wrecks everyone in that family but the bible says in obadiah 21 it says and saviors shall arise from out of zion it says and they shall judge the mount of esau the saviors shall arise men and women who are filled with the spirit of the living god and let me tell you something any gospel that cannot bring people from out of bondage are you listening to me from out of sickness from out of poverty from out of failure and defeat and bring them to a point where they represent the exact counsel of god that gospel is dead 
is just religion and is powerless we are sick and tired of powerless gospels and motivations he said when I came to you I did not come with the excellency of speech but in the demonstration of power that your faith might not be upon um, the wisdom of man but upon the power of God we live in a world where people are oppressed real oppression there are many of us represented here right now that our families are suffering so much the economic hardship and the economic depression is telling so much on people sickness everywhere and the hospitals are doing their best but they are coming to a point where they are acknowledging the fact that there is only so much they can do there's got to be a voice that will arise there's got to be a generation that will say there is a solution Otherwise, our praying in tongues makes no relevance to the people in the world. Until they see the manifestation of the power of God. That HIV is broken and it bows. That cancer and sickness dies. That deafness and lameness goes. That a deformed heart is not just healed but a creative one. A new one comes. We are not talking of healing. We are talking of a brand new one why will you need a, a healing of your heart when you can get a new one hallelujah that oppression from demons will live and will go genotypes changed when john the baptist said go and ask jesus is he the messiah jesus said go and tell him the blind see the deaf hear the cripples are walking that means this is the manifestation of the kingdom hallelujah and before we begin tonight i want to encourage you everyone listen please you have a responsibility to play the responsibility is that you must believe god the bible says he that cometh unto god must believe that he is hallelujah now it's not the time to sit down and wonder and say can god the bible says they limited god by saying can god make a way in the wilderness now it's not the time to watch other people and just wish now is the time to confront and to conquer and to say this sickness you're leaving me once and for all i don't care the stories they gave you around it now it's not the time to bring out your medical report and keep admiring it tonight is the time where you get angry the bible says woe unto them who are at ease in zion there are many of us who are oppressed by satan in us our, our lives and our families this is the time where you challenge yourself and say lord in this miracle service i'm ready to chart a new course there's no moving forward and coming backward no can i tell you something about satan he hates me very much for this but let me tell you satan is only as powerful to the degree to which your ignorance and disobedience permits him to be are you listening to me satan is only as powerful to the degree that your ignorance in the word of god or your disobedience to applying the principles that bring the blessings permit him but jesus said i saw satan fall like lightning you see i didn't say i am seeing him falling i saw it it's past he has fallen hallelujah and so you must believe god tonight many of us are carrying requests some of them absolutely impossible situations but can you take your eyes off those things and say lord i know i know that you are able many of us have gone to the hospital again and again and again and again and the doctors have said you would live with this i've shared my testimony again and again i had a fungal infection that affected me for a great portion of my life there was no hospital i didn't go to no kind of medication 
everything didn't work God healed me by the power of his spirit so I know that miracles exist take away that religious spirit and those demonic teachings that many have indoctrinated people with that the era of miracles have passed because the faith life is a miraculous life you've got to take away that mentality and say Lord I believe don't just wish and say Lord if you want that's a demonic teaching for it is the father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom get angry with poverty get angry with your family members begging and crying from hand to mouth moving up and down when you get dissatisfied in your spirit then you are ready to receive a miracle get ready to act upon the word when you hear the word and you receive the word you receive it into your spirit and enforce it by faith hallelujah this is why you came tonight i prayed a prayer and i told god i said lord we don't just want a few people five six seven people receiving miracles and breakthroughs in their lives if that's all we get tonight we have failed for every time the waters is being stirred whoever jumps into it and can i tell you something the waters is no longer stirred once it's stirred as much as your faith will want it to be stirred i have my requests that are put before god and i'm coming here very seriously to take the things that god has apportioned for me are you listening to me and so i'm challenging everyone inside and outside you've got to connect open up your spirit now it's not the time to be distracted let me tell you something one encounter tonight can change your life forever are you listening to me meetings like this are very prophetic and are very sensitive one encounter from god can change your life forever one encounter with his anointing can set you free of any kind of terminal disease lose concentration away from satan forget about satan satan is not the issue tonight your faith connecting and let me challenge you do not allow satan deceive you and lie to you and say you are so bad and your life is so terrible you cannot receive a miracle everybody jesus healed in the bible was not born again he didn't heal one person who was born again because the holy spirit had not come upon them but like blind Bartimaeus, if you can say thou son of david have mercy upon me tonight you will experience the power and the glory of god god is going to be doing some dramatic things in this place and i'm encouraging every one of you to open up your spirit so that you will not just waste your time and you'll not just be a ceremony that you came for miracle service it's not a name it's an experience are you listening to me where god upgrades your life and takes you to a point where your life is nothing short of beauty and glory hallelujah his presence is in this place strong and mighty to heal to deliver to transform to set free the thief cometh not jesus is not the author of sickness hear me you must convince yourself take away that devilish mindset that says god gave me the sickness to test me no if he gave you the sickness why are you here to be healed jesus cannot bring sickness upon you to test you the bible says god is love hallelujah so tonight you must take responsibility i am ss because my family members are ss no way make up your mind and take responsibility and say lord tonight i lay it once and for all not healed now and then you're back into sickness many of us have suffered delays in our lives 
when you look at your you know that there are certain levels in life that you would have accomplished now is the time to place a demand and say lord by the spirit you are taking me to that plane recovery restoration there are many of us that the lord has spoken certain blessings to our lives that we are supposed to see but we have not seen it now is the time to place a demand and challenge the powers of satan that there be a manifestation of those things that god has spoken there are many of our family members that have suffered so much suffered in their job places everything they lay their hands to do dies they start a business it dies everything it works for others but when it gets to your turn or that of your family members it dies from the beginning it was not so and tonight we are partnering with the holy spirit and believing that god will take us to that position listen challenge yourself that something about your life hear me challenge yourself that something about your life must change i'm trying to provoke you by the spirit so that you will know and realize that you can take this it's it's within your reach you must get angry enough get full of faith enough hallelujah listen don't leave this place tonight do not leave this place tonight without a tangible miracle for your life are you listening to me refuse it refuse it place a demand and say no way i'm not stepping out of this place with that sickness I'm not stepping out with that poverty. An idea must come upon my spirit. I'm not stepping at this level in the spirit. I'm not living at this level of grace. Lift up your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Raise a cry. Even as we prepare the ground. Place a demand. Place a demand. Ibrahim Amosa, the Bible of Kosovo, he caught on a braggado,
Le kata le brege de bon salada. Le kata la braga do sege de le brege de ya. Fare pata la braga do sege de le bakata la brege de ya. Re pata ba 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 ya. Re pata le brege de ya. Se kala bon sata le brege de ya. Se tu risi. Se kata. Se kala la sata la ga. Me le ako de le brege de ya. Me kala ba ba sata la ga. E kala bon sha. Me kata ta so le brege de ya. Mosha, E para bada bada bado shalala ba, le pata tato sadala, e karaba o sadala ba ya, e kata ta se le banda, le karaba raba da raba da. Satan is not so powerful. E kato sha, le karaba kala la ba la ba la ba. Le karaba ko se gede ne ba, le kata le brege de ya raba banda, le kala pata le brege do sa. She kata le bra ko se gede ne brege de ya, she kala ba o shata le brege do sa. Hale bo sata sata e kata da ba kose ke tele brege do sakata haleluya haleluya now listen there's someone here you had a dream and you saw them hit piercing you they put a spear as though to kill you who is that person there's someone here they trust a spear come quickly But Satan cannot have a place over your life. The devil is a liar. There's no, there's, let me tell you something. Tonight is zero tolerance with Satan. Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. When you get angry and get wild in your spirit, you will find out that Satan is not as strong. They trust you with a spare. Come out. They trust you with a spare. While you were sleeping, it was so real you woke up with the pains. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a lady. Um, your elder sister is. I'm seeing the number 34. I believe she's 34 years. They've been praying for her for her marriage. Who is that? 34 years. Your elder sister. 34 years. They've been praying for her. Who is that person? Come. Exactly 34 years. Am I right? That's her age. They've been praying for her. The Lord says, I should tell you. That before the end of this year, she's going to get married. Yeah. Write it and go and tell her. Don't even know her. Her age is exactly 34 years. That before the end of this year, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That this word will find expression upon the heart of obedience. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. James. James. Hearing the name James. James for I will uphold James who is James make sure you don't feel emotional about these words if it's not you go back to your seat your James come it says for I will uphold James that's what the Lord says for I will uphold James for you have suffered many things but in this season the Lord is going to be bringing great restoration look at me look at me only be a man of faith you have you love god but there is so much doubt in your heart i need you to know that god is more than able god is more than able to help you he's more than able to bring every word that he has spoken to your heart there are many things he wants to show you but you must learn to be away from people and stay with the spirit of god are you listening to me you must learn to be away from people and lord i pray in the name of jesus that there be great grace upon my brother I break away that spirit and that limitation of fear. 
I break away that limitation that will not allow you to do the things that God wants you to do. I break it away from your life, even right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. I see a lot of oppression in your family. A lot of oppression in your family, and that's what I see. I'm going to pray for you right now. And not only will God set you free, He will set your family members free. I see your mom, and I hear the mom, April. She's supposed to go through a very, very uncalled for, a challenge that is uncalled for in the month of April. But the Lord sets her free tonight. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I break the power of Satan over your life right now in Jesus name and even for your mother mm, the anointing of the spirit is strong upon you can you just hold my hands just touch make contact with my hands in the name of Jesus be set free now by the power of the Holy Spirit for you and for your mother in the name of Jesus I see a chain over your head living now let it go I command that chain go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Come. The Lord says, look at me, that I should set you free from fear. For there are many fears in your heart, said the Spirit of God. He has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind hold my hands in the name of Jesus can you hold it with both of your hands mm. hold it with both of your hands if you can the anointing of the spirit is flowing through you fear you are a demonic spirit I pray that you let this lady go in the name of Jesus I take authority over fear in the name of Jesus and Jimmy the Lord says I should prophesy to you that beginning from the month of March you are entering a fearful dimension of wealth and prosperity that's what the lord says i should tell you a fearful operation of wealth and prosperity fearful operation ideas will begin to come by the spirit calls calls from many people by the grace of god god will show you things from the month of march you are stepping into an unusual level of financial prosperity hallelujah Call that lady Abigail come I saw your eyes enlarging in the spirit I saw your eyes growing bigger I was wondering why and the Lord says increase vision you will step into an unusual level of vision just look at me if you can just look at me as best as you can the power of God is so strong upon you increased unusual level of visions beginning right now the portals of heaven will be open to you i want you as much as you can just look at me there's fire leaving my eyes and entering me in the name of jesus an increased level of supernatural visions in the name of the lord jesus christ supernatural visions even by the power of the holy spirit you step into a great dimension of seeing seeing even by the spirit seeing even by the spirit come my brother Look at me there is no other way there is no other way you can be blessed in this life outside of Jesus Christ are you listening to me there is no other way and if you do not trust him everything that you trust will fall and will crumble and you'll be left with nothing the Lord calls you into a real relationship tonight and God says you should lay aside everything that is not him and begin to press for him in sincerity and truth do you understand this is what gives Satan a foothold over your life. Hold my hands. I pray for you right now. That over those demonic dreams and manifestations of Satan. Now be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This comes in. A great vessel indeed for the Lord will use you. 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 I see strong grace coming upon you. The Lord will use you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit look at me free yourself from religion that's what the Lord says 
there are many revelations you have in your mind that is not producing results you have criticized too many things now is the time to begin to embrace the things of the spirit that's what the lord says lord take him to that dimension that new realm of grace even by the power of god i erase the grip of religion over your life open up yourself and begin to receive of the fullness of the spirit in the name of jesus look at me for many people think you will not amount to anything but the spirit of god says i set you apart and you will become a great one even as the stone that has been rejected i will make you a great one are you listening to me i see a crown being put upon your head right now as i'm holding you father that you fulfill your word right now come 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 look at me look at me look at me see leave fear fear will not bring much to your life it will only put you in misery and forget about the things that people are saying god is separating you to use you are you listening to me there's one of your friend i see he has a mark the lord is saying leave him leave him love is a command relationship is not leave him are you listening to me and get serious with god god bless you look at me do you have an elder sister where is she she's married no no no. i mean there's um do you have anyone staying in abuja abuja i see one of your people who is staying in abuja um the lord says hear what i say except the lord builds a house the laborers labor in vain the laborers labor in vain and that you tell them to commit their all unto god there's no giving god part and holding part are you listening to me god bless you rampia please come run for i see the lord bringing real blessings to your family real blessings to your family um the lord is bringing a refreshing please put a little water in that cup and just give me i want to do exactly what i'm seeing in the spirit the lord says just a little he says he's bringing refreshing to your family and the lord says this is there's no ritual around it before you package water tomorrow and start making madness out of it this is simple prophetic instruction go ahead and drink it finish it just do what i'm asking you to do the lord says he's bringing a refreshing in exactly two minutes that water you have taken will become fire in your spirit and in your bones in exactly two minutes from now just hold on there it will become fire god will give you ideas by the spirit for was it not water that elijah poured upon the sacrifice that the fire came and licked it up there is nothing that is done that cannot be proven from scripture hallelujah in exactly two minutes said the lord it will become strong fire i see a formation of it already and i'm telling you the truth it will set you apart it will bring favor even to your younger sister that's what i'm seeing your younger sister your younger sister having this great fire thank you jesus christ mercy mercy a lady with the name mercy who are you mercy come you're also mercy Deborah, Deborah Maida, if she's here, the Lord says it's time for you to step up. Where is she? She's not around. Deborah Maida, it's time for you to enjoy the blessings. I'm seeing you holding a big bag and you are going to the farm to pick a lot of fruits. That's what God is showing me. A very big bag. Humanly speaking, it's not something you can carry but you need to pick the fruits they are falling from the tree i believe god is signifying a season that is time to enter into a lot of things yahweh 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 the lord just said i should stretch my hands towards you yahweh, yahweh. 
Yahweh, 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 of oil. The Lord says He's called the oil of gladness. The oil of gladness being poured upon you. Have I not said God is no man's debtor? The Lord says He will repay you. I see oil being poured upon your head. That's what I'm seeing right now. Oil being poured upon your head. Your name is mercy. Your name is mercy. Look at me. Rise out of timidity. For great is your strength, said the Spirit of God. Rise out of timidity. Great is your strength. I sense an anointing to change genotypes. That's what I'm sensing right now. Please get set. I sense an anointing to change. Don't take it for granted. I sense an anointing to change genotypes. I'm about to speak and prophesy the word of the Lord. Right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. That demonic spirit of fear. You will not hide in her soul. Come out of her right now. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mercy. Listen. Find a community of believers. You can't be in and out. Find a real community of believers. They will help your growth. The Lord, I don't know what it is, but the Lord says I should tell you, I will show you mercy. I will show you mercy. Hold my hands. I will show you mercy. Please hold it with both of your hands if you can. I will show you mercy. That's what the Spirit of God says. Receive the mercy of the Lord. The mercy of the Lord coming like fragrance. I see like perfume upon you. The Lord says it's my mercy. The fragrance of the Lord upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your name is mercy. Your name is mercy. You will be a mother to many. Look at me. Look at me. The Lord says I should tell you. You will be a mother to many. You will do things you never imagined. That you could do. You will do things you never imagined. That you could do. Mercy. The Lord says, I should tell you, you will speak over kings. You will speak over kingdoms. You will speak over territories. A scepter is given upon your hand. That's what the Lord says. A scepter is given. You will speak over kings. You will speak over kingdoms. You will speak over territories. A scepter is given upon your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Madam, please. I saw something coming like a balloon and then coming towards you and then I saw a sword while I was ministering I saw something like a sword and it just pierced it and it it went down and in my mind I was wondering I was I didn't really didn't understand and I kept quiet and then the Lord says I should tell you that the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity the Lord says I should tell you that he's going to wipe away your tears that's all I hear the Lord says I should tell you that you have cried many cries but that in this season he's going to wipe away your tears does this make sense to you what I'm saying I want to pray for you Lord in the name of Jesus according to the power of your word by the power of the Holy Spirit that you wipe away her tears you have migraine or somebody around your family i see somebody i'm seeing um yes signs of my you upon your head you'll be healed right now 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 not later right now in the name of jesus i pray by the power of the spirit of god be set free be set free <laughs> be set free 
in the name of Jesus Christ healed from my grain now I command every genotype SS hear me inside and outside if you are SS if you are SS right now I change your genotype to AA in the name of Jesus Amen. I change it to AA in the name of Jesus Receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every SS, every AS, change now in the name of Jesus. Everyone with heart condition, if you have a problem with your heart, come out quickly. Inside and outside, either a hole in your heart or something pertaining your heart. Please run out quickly. Let's hurry up so we can conserve time. A heart condition. A confirmed heart condition. Please come out. Oh, holy. Holy. Blessed is he. Who come in the name of our God? Oh, holy, you are holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, holy, oh, holy. Blessed is he who comes. In the name of our God, Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Blessed is He who comes in the name of our God. Listen, I'm going to pray that the Lord will give you a brand new heart. I'm not praying for healing. You're not going to be healed. A creative miracle. Just believe it, whether you understand what I'm saying or not. Are you listening to me? As my hands come upon you, I'm going to be releasing the power of God. The power of God. Now, a brand new heart upon you. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart. A brand new heart. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, a brand new heart in the name of Jesus Christ. A brand new heart. Where's Mariam? Mariam Adese. Where's she? Mariam. For the Lord says that He will wipe your tears and cause you to laugh. Because of the testimony of your commitment in his house. Hey, that's what the Lord says I should tell you. For I will wipe your tears and I will cause laughter. That laughter will gush out like springs of living water. My God, let this grace come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are, your name is Miriam. Why are you here? For a heart condition. Okay, lay your hands. You not only have a heart condition I see that there's something wrong I don't know whether it's your back or something that's what I'm seeing am I right okay I'll pray for you now look at me just hold my hands in the name of Jesus I command 
every bent bone around your back to be straightened let it grow back to complete shape now the power of god is coming upon your back i command in the name of the lord jesus christ every malfunctioning of your body be gone now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please can that lady i hope someone can help me identify her the, a lady standing almost directly under that fan she's holding her hands like this a lady with dark you looking at me come yes you the lord is healing all kinds of things no this the one at the back come but you who is going back come you're going to be a great leader and the lord is going to commit great wealth into your hands that's what god is saying i should tell you he's going to commit great wealth into your hands but that it be used for his kingdom that it be used for his glory The Lord loves you and he wants to use you for his glory. You must give him full expression. He must find full expression. You love him so much, but I hear cares, 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 cares. You're laden by many cares. And the Lord really wants you to give him or hold my hands if you will. Lord, I pray. Ah, the strong manifestation of the spirit. You will never be the same from tonight. Fire on you now. Shut. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will never be the same again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, there is a strange oil of God's favor that is bringing upon your life from tonight. It's a strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord. A strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord. Hallelujah. A strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord. The lady sitting come very quickly before. Please, as you're standing in this atmosphere, I'd like you to know that God is meeting your needs. Are you listening to me? God is meeting your needs. This lady, that lady with you, come. Yes. Look at me. Hold my hands. You may not even know how much you have been oppressed by Satan. But I command victory for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command victory. Great victory. Great victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will make you a very influential person for his kingdom. He will give you a word upon your mouth. You may not look like it right now. But the Lord says he's going to do this. He will give you access to kings. And he will grant you grace one of the things that you will have in your life is courage and boldness courage as bold as a lion the Lord is going to give you great boldness hold my hands if you will Lord I pray that this great grace and courage will come upon her even by the power of the Holy Spirit that you do unusual and supernatural things even for the kingdom in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ unusual supernatural things for the kingdom in the name of the lord jesus christ aaron the lord is stepping you into a strange level of blessings a strange level of blessings you have served the kingdom and you have served many the lord says i will now cause men to serve you i will cause men to serve you hold my hands lord i pray that this grace and this oil this great anointing will come upon him that you will serve many in the name of the Lord Jesus. Onu, come. The exact same word God is saying to Aaron, that's what he's saying to you. That because you have served many, he will cause many to serve you. 
he will cause many to serve you he will cause many to serve you in the name of the lord jesus christ he will cause many to serve you please be alert as we minister if you have not written your prayer request please write them very quickly thank you jesus i like your heart just to be tuned to the lord as we minister there's such an unusual prophetic anointing in this place that god wants to reach out to people please the lady that apostle just ministered to with the yellow shirt come and the next person by you come the other lady with the green shirt come the both of you thank you spirit of god thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus god says you're going to carry my message of love to many people i see an experience that you had last year towards the last quarter of last year that brought hurt and condemnation to you is an experience that i cannot talk about but you know it right you know what i'm talking about god says he healed that wound today jesus says he loves you and he brings healing to that wound and you carry his message of love to many people god bless you i hear god says i'm stepping into your family i'm bringing a message and i'm bringing restoration that's the word i hear god says god says he's bringing a restoration and a healing to a relationship between your mom and one of your elder sisters look at me omar am i talking god says he's healing a challenge that your sister and your mom has been experiencing in their relationship i mean one-on-one -on -one, there have been some bridges that have been, they have experienced in their relationship and god says because there has not been oneness and unity it has hindered your family god says he's healing that wound tonight and your sister will be restored back to your mom and god says it will be a new season of restoration even financially for your family in the name of the lord jesus christ abigail please come is Sanet here please come so that we can just save time please come as i'm calling as the lord is showing me as i'm calling you just come just come just come abigail the lord gave me abigail aren't you abigail please come the lord shows me i see a scene that had happened before that the lord shows me and in this scene i saw your father standing somewhere in a particular land and i could see cassava growing in that land i don't know but it looked to me like somewhere in the southwest part of this country is that where you came from from where okay and and i saw that there was a dispute a challenge about this land and i saw that certain course certain enchantment were released please keep playing were released over your father and your family to bring hurt to bring hurt and to cause misfortune for your family and even death that's what i hear the lord says where is your father right now nothing is working out nothing is working out nothing is working out that cause from that land god says he will heal it god says he break that yoke of the enemy but are you aware of a challenge a dispute that has to do with the land It was something that their father left for all of them. Yes, and he left it for them. But there was a curse that they spoke over his life, and that's what is responsible with you know with the misfortune that your family is experiencing that now that nothing is working for that. I declare that there shall be no death. I reverse that curse of the wicked one, and I declare that the prosperity of God comes to your family. God says he brings healing to your body and perfection. Perfection 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 <laughs> perfection to your body in the name of jesus christ i see the lord touching your body i see a challenge that had been that had always caused constant health challenge for you something connected to your blood that affects your bone and bring weakness to you around your joint and your bone region am i talking god says he's going to step into there and bring total healing receive it now receive the healing power of god the anointing is already on you receive it be free your blood and your bone and all your joints is healed this night in the name of jesus christ what's your name abigail just stand the lord is not giving me a word for you yet grace the lord says i should tell you that he's going to intervene in your academics i see god says he's going to raise someone in your department that will fight your cause 
and God says you will celebrate and sing songs of joy in the name of Jesus Christ watch out he's a man and that man is not a believer that's what I hear the Lord says Sandra God shows me that the ticket is coming not for you but for your elder sister she's going to travel out of the country God says that demonic barrier is lifted tonight do you understand and God says the challenge that has kept her that she has not gone before now is lifted tonight God says there's going to be a speedy victory that shall come and your family shall celebrate in the name of Jesus Christ Shadi, I love you so much please just be on your feet God speaks to me to, for you and your husband I see a certain challenge and demonic attack that the enemy intends to bring to you particularly in this season of birth I get what I'm saying and the Lord is showing me that this challenge is something that your mom experienced around the season of your birth you may need to go and ask your mom in case you don't know such a demonic attack that came to her during the time of your birth and you even experienced it in the early years of your life am I talking to you God says that attack shall not rest upon you the plans of the enemy is to snuff and take away your child but God says it shall not hold and we shall love when your son comes in the name of Jesus and God says for me to tell you God says this is a season of financial breakthrough watch it within now and the next three months you see unusual favor and doors that God will begin to open people that have never given to you before watch out and see what the Lord will do and my dear brother Jakes God says there's nothing that is impossible God says he will answer the prayer of your mom God says shortly he will cause her to rejoice and I even hear the Lord says as I answer this prayer there shall be celebration and I shall cause the bell of wedding to ring in your family I'm not talking about you but I'm talking about your sister for you it is sure but I'm talking about your sister father thank you or law room bumi or lua bumi but there's bumi in the name if I'm talking to you please just come or room bumi or lua bumi but there's bumi in the name are you here just come quickly quickly okay please come I, 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 I looked at you and, I, and the Lord shows me your father's text and God shows me that there's a project like a research work that he's embarking upon and God says this work is going to bring honor to him God says this work is going to cause him to stand before many great people and God says I'm doing a work and I'm bringing health to his body health to his body you know the challenge that your father has been going through i've never met your father i've never been to your house but god says he's bringing perfection to his health and this project that i see him working on on his table will bring honor to him god will use this work to set him before many great men go and tell him health healing perfection comes to his body in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus the lord says trust me and i will lead you God says for you to trust him and he will lead you. God says don't trust in your understanding. He said you have trusted in your understanding before now. But this is the time that I want you to begin to trust me. God says if you will trust me to come out of that, out of that relationship, I'll bring rest and peace to you. And God says I forgive your sister. Tell her that guilt shall no longer hold her hand bound. Tell her that the snare is broken. And tell her that she shall celebrate her wedding soon. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. So take the news to her. Is, is Sanet here? Is anybody by the name Naomi? Naomi. Let me talk about the Naomi so that if you are the one you come out. This Naomi that the Lord shows me. I see your elder brother who has been running from pillar to post seeking for a job. 
and God simply asked me to tell you that he's releasing that job and as he released that job he's going to bring blessing to the family it's going to be of great help and blessing to the family if I'm talking about you just lift up your hands where is it now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus if you if you have any challenge I see God healing people with challenge around their legs I'm seeing bone condition or any part of your body you have challenge maybe from an accident bone condition I see God healing that quickly please just come so we'll pray for you bone condition I see God healing that I see God healing bone condition Lord I pray for her in the name of the Lord Jesus is there anyone in your family who has been crying to the Lord for a child? Yes. Who is the person? My sister-in-law. Your elder sister? Sister-in-law. Because I see the Lord says there shall be Amen. the birth of a child. Amen. I see God says he's bringing a child. Amen. For that yoke is broken. Amen. That yoke is broken. Amen. I will declare that a child is born. We declare that within now the next one year the Lord gives you a testimony. Amen. In the name of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. The people with the bone condition. I want you to just touch that part. Just touch that part where you're having a bone condition. Just touch there. We may not have the time to take all your testimonies, but just touch the bone condition. Please, Minister, I just want us to lay hands on them just quickly. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I declare your need healed, heal, heal command that bone condition be healed in the name of Jesus Christ I declare you heal heal let that bone be healed right now in the name of Jesus let that bone condition be healed right now in the name of Jesus let the bone condition be healed right now right now right now right now right now in the name of Jesus right now be healed be healed be healed be healed in the name of Jesus if we have laid hands on you please just go back to your seat and check yourself because of time restraint we may not need to take all the testimonies for all of you but we declare you heal you came in with any bone condition touch the place come on healing healing right now in the name of jesus be healed be healed in the name of jesus christ you're healed check it let me take your testimony check it that's every time the bone condition is actually once in a while. It's not every time. I have problems with my nails sometimes. But do you experience it now? No, I don't. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. You have arthritis. I see the Lord heal somebody with arthritis. Where? The gentleman who is going back to his seat with a bone condition. Come. Come. perfect in the name of Jesus you are totally healed now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ so do what you couldn't do before let's take your testimony do what you couldn't do before hallelujah do what you couldn't do before you couldn't do this before Thank you. your healing is perfected in the name of Jesus Amen. your healing is perfected in the name of Jesus Christ You have arthritis come i see the lord heal somebody with arthritis i see the symptoms somewhere around your hand and your leg where you where is that person come quickly arthritis come and be healed thank you father thank you father thank you father mommy you're the one with arthritis are you feeling the pain now yeah with the chest so if you are healed now you will know yes in the name of Jesus, I curse you spirit of arthritis. I release healing, 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 healing in the name of Jesus. I curse the symptoms. Go! Go! In the name of Jesus, you are healed. Okay, check yourself quickly. Do what you couldn't do before. You are healed in the name of Jesus. I like you to watch something. This guy's leg, can you see that one leg is shorter than the other? If we can have the camera here so the, 
that this will not be stage managed nobody will lie and say just come can you see it from the side i need you to see it can you see it everybody just look are you seeing it yeah you see that one is shorter now watch this in the name of the lord jesus i command you to grow watch it from your screen watch it grow wow watch it grow. in the name of the lord jesus <laughs> you're feeling a pulling on your leg look at it growing perfect look at this oh that pain needs to go your the problem is usually from the spine and so it causes the leg to be a few inches lower than the normal one now try what you couldn't do before if you can shake your legs as hard do you feel any pain there you feel any pain no i you don't i don't feel complete any. perfection thank you jesus thank you jesus are you coming out for what arthritis on the knee lord we release healing arthritis your cause in the name of jesus be healed be healed now 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 in the name of jesus christ check it and do what you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do before you couldn't do this before do it again do it again do you still feel the pain you are totally healed amen in the name of jesus christ go back you okay you're the one with the hand in the name of jesus christ i release healing into this hand now 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 i cause you arthritis go in the name of jesus be healed let this hand be healed amen. in jesus name amen do what you couldn't do before check it do what you couldn't do with it before Hallelujah. come 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 do it do it okay tell us could you do this before could you do this before no no you are totally healed yeah. in the name of jesus yeah. go back i just needed to speak the word my dad has been going through this condition for the lord she stands for her dad let the dad receive the anointing right now we cause arthritis we release healing now in the name of jesus amen i stand for basiokun Lord, we release healing to pass your cone wherever he is right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Sanet is not here. The Lord shows me something. Sanet is not here. Thank you, Jesus. You came out. Lord, we cause arthritis from our mom's body. And even her grandmother will release healing right now. We cause arthritis. Go! In the name of Jesus, you're here. All right, while this is going on, please ushers begin to collect the prayer requests. Lord, we cause bring out your prayer requests inside right and now, outside. Right now, in the please, name let's do of that Jesus quickly. Christ. Is Gideon here? Gideon, you are either in agri engineering or agri science, but I'm hearing the name Gideon in agri. If you are here, come. For what? Lord bless her, bless her, bless her, bless her in the name of Jesus. Bless her. And Lord, concerning marriage, answer the prayers of her heart right now. Answer the prayers of her heart in the name of Jesus. Okay, just quickly. Not to testify, it's a prayer for my prayer for my Okay. I cause this pain. Go in the name of Jesus. I release healing now. Be healed. In the name of Jesus, do what you couldn't do quickly. I'm healed. Say it. I'm very healed. I'm healed. healed in Jesus' name. Get on, please kneel down. Let's pray for you quickly. God says there's a ministry that He's birthing inside of you. God says that you shall have an assignment of bringing deliverance unto the captives. God says deliverance shall come to them that are bound, even through your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask, let there be a release, let there be an activation of that ministry inside of him. And let that anointing begin to overflow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Please, if you need papers, ushers have papers. Thank you, Jesus. Anetu, God has a word for you. I see God doing some things around your mom that pertains to healing in her body. Do you understand? God is bringing healing to her body. I don't know where she is at the moment, but that's what I see. Perfection. Perfection to her body. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is now quite here, please. If you are here, just come quickly. Or is your mom here? Is your mom here? Is mommy here? Please, so we can walk with time. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Please, let me give them to minister. So we can conserve our time. Hallelujah. Um, Ruben, okay, I saw God giving you um, another dimension of word of knowledge. I see that function in your life. God just showed me that. Hallelujah. Quickly pray for some sick cases now. God showed me. Quickly come out, please, as I mentioned you. I saw um, we praying for cancer patients, okay? If you have people that had cancer or have cancer, please just quickly come out. You understanding for them? I saw that. You can just line up here. Praise God. Then if you're having um, pains at your back, back ache here, please come. We'll quickly pray with you. Then, people with pains in their right ear. I think there's somebody here with pain in the right ear. Then I saw another person. Your neck is actually your neck. You actually, I think you had a problem carrying a load or something. That's where you got an injury, just your neck. The three major vertebrae here. Please just quickly come out. Please, sir, just help me. Please just help me. Hallelujah. Jumi Tosin. God will do some amazing things to you guys in your worship life. I saw, I saw you guys with Ruben, just the three of you. Okay? God will be doing new things for you in the place of worship. Hallelujah. I'll just quickly pray with these people. Just quickly come as they pray with you. Please just go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Come on, Hallelujah. I wait to I wait to come. As I was sitting there, the Lord showed me, the Lord showed me. A vision concerning your father. Stand here. As I was sitting there, the Lord showed me a vision concerning your father. And I see a major promotion is going to come to your father. And I see the Lord bringing honor into the life of your father. And the Lord said he's going to put your... Sorry, I'm seeing something. Don't mind me. He's going to do something very tremendous to your father. He's going to give grant him honor. Put your hands. Father, thank you, Lord. Father, I pray the Lord God. Let it be released for her father in the name of Jesus. My brother there, I see an unusual healing anointing upon you. Come. I see the Lord reason an unusual healing anointing. I actually saw you leaning down, praying. Praying on your, on your bed. Telling the Lord that come. I actually saw the Lord, I saw a vision as I was talking just now. I saw you kneeling down praying on your bed and asking the Lord that you want him to you want him to use you greatly. And I see him releasing an unusual healing anointing upon you. Father, I pray that let the anointing intensify in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing upon him. Let your anointing, let your anointing, Lord God, be so real and tangible. I'm so interested about a lady, a young person that came trusting the Lord for, a, for fruit of the womb in my right my left hand side trusting the Lord outside there in the overflow for a fair I saw a fair, 
you are, you are here? Come, I just saw a vision. Somebody on my left. And I see the Lord giving you two boys. Hope you heard me. I see the Lord giving you two boys. I see an unusual anointing of God. I saw you making a prayer to God that if the Lord gives you children, you're going to give them back to the Lord. You, ma you made them. Yes, sir. Go. The Lord said He's going to release an anointing upon them and He's going Amen. to use them greatly. Amen. Put your hands in my right hand. Father, thank you, Jesus. I pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Now, uh, there is somebody that came in here. I saw a young guy in between the age of 13, in between the age of 13, 16, having a terrible demonic attack with a bone. I see a young guy. A young guy in between the age of in between the age of 13 I see a demonic oppression upon you if you know your head come out here if you know your hair your brother in between the age of 12 15 16 come I see I see a, a, a chain it was a chain I saw I mean, you find it difficult to sleep yeah sometimes you struggle to sleep and you find a lot of put your let me father I've come against every demonic attack of, over his life in the name of Jesus I come against every demonic attack I speak freedom upon his life in Jesus name Amen. praise the Lord now that, that is uh, a lady outside that has a, a problem with a stomach problem with the lower I don't know, Mina, something, it pains around here. If you know you are, you are the one, just come and let me pray for you. It's very chronic pain at your lower abdomen Mina here. If you know you are here, come out. Somebody with a very chronic pain outside in the overflow. Somebody in the overflow. In the overflow. Anyone there? Yeah. Come in. Come. Come in. I saw her. That's the very lady I saw. I saw a lady with a very chronic pain. Is it like a fibro or I don't know? Just come and hold my hand. I will just decree a word. Excuse me. Man of God, lay your hands. Lay your hands on them. Father, I command every familiar spirit to come out in the name of And also, I saw a young lady that came into the meeting with a young guy, a boyfriend of ours. Amen. I saw a young lady sitting in the overflow with a young guy, a boyfriend of ours that came in. They just came in together. The Lord is asking me to warn you to stop engaging, I mean, involving yourself in what you've been. I see a young guy, a young guy, a young lady sitting in the overflow. The Lord is instructing me to really warn you, to warn you to stop what you've been involved. And that is giving you a chance to change and to repent from doing what you've been doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. I see God. Please, let's just quickly. There was a song that was playing. That was, oh, you, you sang it before Yahweh. Please just sing that song. When this meeting started, I saw God give me a burden for people in the overflow. People in the overflow, please listen. I see God. There are some ladies here you were incantations or initiations were done for you by other ladies people in the overflow listen that's the song just be playing balada i see a lady you are very small in stature you are wearing a wine dress you were initiated all the ladies that have been initiated in this place by another lady into the occultic just come out the power of God is going to bring you out or you come out. 
God wants to set you free. For some of you, it's your secondary school days. Please come. If anybody ever initiated you into anything, please come. In the overflow, Father, I command that power of darkness to be broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you were ever taken to a, an occultist or something, please come out. Father, honor your word in this place. For some of you, because of what happened, at night you have sexual intercourse, usually with strange ladies. I'm seeing such people. Such people in Topele de Bokosa, in Palada Bokosa Tabaya, in Pere de 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 Bosha. Hallelujah. For some of you, it was your parents that took you there. Don't be ashamed. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is setting you free. Please come out. Come out. Come out. Then I heard the name. I was hearing the name Graham Douglas. There is a lady in this place. Your father is extremely wealthy extremely wealthy he travels a lot he travels a lot i don't know if you're from the south south i think there is an in your name or something and i see god wanting to touch your father through you i think your father is either military or something he's either top military but he travels a lot if you're that person please come out please come out i see another lady you have phobia for cockroaches if you're in the same room with a cockroach you must fall ill once you see it. I don't mean the usual fear. You break out in sweats. If you are that person, please come out. God wants to heal you right here and right now. Right here and right now. You fall sick, very ill. Please come out. I see a PC. Something is wrong with your mother. You can sing. Something is wrong with your mother. She's dead reading. Please come out. Right here. ushers very very quickly now we're entering a very prophetic moment a very prophetic moment in this meeting let's have the prayer requests very quickly a very prophetic moment a very prophetic moment If you've not written your request, don't waste this opportunity. God has given us an instruction inside and outside. Please send your requests. Hallelujah. Can, can you turn it, Aaron? Is it possible? Please turn the requests. We're going to be praying on this request. Whatever it is that you laid as a request, I'd like you to know that the end of it, hear me, the end of it comes, whatever it is. Please, everybody rise up on your feet, inside and outside. I'd like to invite all the servants of God. Please, the ministers of the gospel, can we come as we pray on this request? Hallelujah. 
now listen as we pray on this request miracles listen to me please instant miracles instant miracles will begin to flow both to you and to your loved ones are you listening to me as we please come up let's let's come quickly as we lay our hands in faith instant miracles please call that lady that lady is not done god is not done with her yet there are all kinds of demonic manifestations she's been initiated into all kinds of things you want to pray for her as we pray everyone join us and pray by faith all over this building inside and outside Lord, in the name of Jesus, we release miracles, instant healings, instant deliverances, instant miracles, instant breakthroughs. Prophetic declarations by the Spirit. By the Spirit. Everything we declare. Listen, now is the time for your life to change. Don't take it for granted. You stayed here long. Now is the time for you to receive by faith. To receive by faith. I command wisdom and understanding. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A baptism of wisdom and understanding shall release it. Amen. Take it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take it in the name of Jesus. A baptism of wisdom and understanding. Let that fire come upon you. Let that fire come upon you. A baptism of wisdom. Leadership anointing. Leadership anointing. Receive it. Receive it. Take it. Amen. Inside and outside. Take it. Amen. 
Favor with God, Shaka. Favor with man, Amen. Favor with God, Amen. Receive it, Amen. The anointing for supernatural, inexplainable favor, Amen. Lift up your hands, everybody. Receive it, Amen. Take it, take it, Amen. Take it, Amen. Inside and outside, take it, Amen. Favor anointing, take it. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it. Take it. The favor anointing. Favor anointing. Hey! Take it. Shakata. Hey! Kapato Sata. Hey! Shata Labakosa. Mari Kato Sata. Hallelujah. All those in debt, in debt, financial debt, both for you and for your family. If there's any family here that is in financial debt, Rekaposotoya Everyone here who has suffered delay, any kind hey. of delay, hey. don't care what it is in relationship, in marriage, in your academy, hey. in ministry, in business. If God be God, if God be God, I command speed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Speed. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has held you back, there are many of you. You are moving, but you are not making progress. For yourself, for your family. Tonight, enough is enough. I prophesy that spirit that came upon Elijah that made him to run. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed in your finances. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy to your academics. I want to prophesy. I don't care. to know what your CGPA is. I don't want to know how many carryovers you have. That's none of my business. I don't want to know who likes you or who does not like you. This night, right now, I command, begin to soar. Five points, receive it. Five points, receive it. Five points, receive it. Prophesy distinction. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Some of you read. You are not lazy. You do your best. You have tried to explain to people. They can't understand. Every time you want to read, you find out that there's something holding you back. Tonight, as surely as my father lives. Every mental blockage, everything called dull, let it die tonight in the name of Jesus. Receive a super intelligent mind. I prophesy it. A super intelligent mind. Conquer all your difficult causes. Conquer it. Conquer it. Go back a 
Jesus is victor. Hallelujah. I want to pray for your finances. The arrow begging and living from hand to mouth. Begging, begging for everything. Many of you have left the Lord because of financial challenges. In the name that is above every name. Don't tell me about your father's job. It has nothing to do with your job. Don't tell me you are not working. The power to prosper. The power to prosper. The power to prosper. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. The power to prosper. Take it. Inside and outside. Take it. The power to prosper. Prosperity in business. Prosperity in ministry. Receive it in the name of Jesus. There are many of us, hear me, who have suffered with habits. Habits. All kinds of ungodly habits. You have done the best. You have cried. You have fasted. You have prayed. Lift up your hands. Right now, every habit that does not represent the life of the kingdom, I command it out of you. Now, out of you. Now, out of you. Now, out of you. Now, out of you. Right now. Hallelujah. Every spirit of fear, timidity, and discouragement. This is what has stopped many people. Although you are praying in tongues, fear, timidity, discouragement. Tonight, right now, I take authority over it. Let it live your life forever. In the name of Jesus. I command, multiply. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Subdue in the name of Jesus. Every one of you here tonight is stepping into a new level of the anointing of the Spirit. Receive it. A new level of the anointing, the operation, the miracle working power. Receive it. From tonight, your words become powerful. Everyone you bless is blessed in the name of Jesus. I speak over you. Every spirit of death, every spirit of failure, whether by accident, whether by the sword, right now, let it be lifted from your life forever. In the name of Jesus, no more death, no more death. Hallelujah. I command every dying dream, every dying vision, every dying idea, books to write, songs to write, organizations. God has been speaking. I command every dry bone, share the word of the Lord. Arise! 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 Let your dreams come alive. Let your visions come alive. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Everyone in your family who is looking for a job or marriage or a building project. That's what God is saying. These three things. Job, marriage, a building project. Right now, by the power of the Spirit, I command that you receive it for your loved ones. Supernatural marriages. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Jobs for your loved ones. Receive it. Jobs without interview. Jobs.
comes without interview, receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything that has made you cry, I don't care what it is. Everything that you came here with that has brought tears from your eyes, as surely as the Lord lives, you walk out of this ground a free man, a free woman. No more tears. I prophesy no more tears by the word of God I create for you a future with laughter 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 fresh passion for the word of God fresh passion for the word of God receive it fresh passion for the word of God let the spirit of prayer fall grace to pray like a general grace to pray the spirit of prayer the spirit of intercession <laughs> lastly I prophesy the Lord tells me, release the anointing for signs and wonders. Signs and wonders are not necessarily miracles. And Lord, according to your word, signs, wonders, at the count of three, this one will fall heavy. This one will fall heavy. One, two three receive it signs wonders signs wonders become a sign become a wonder become a sign become a wonder become a sign Accomplish more than your capacity. Accomplish more than your capacity. Hallelujah. All of you who are lecturers, if there's any lecturer in this place, because you came tonight, I command, that's what the Lord is telling me to declare, that the believer lecturers, that came tonight I command a grace that will distinguish you for honor you can receive it for your parents receive it in the name of Jesus no more weakness no more frustration no more begging you are the head and not the tail you are above you are not beneath Arise, shine, arise, shine, arise, shine. Hallelujah. So that when you leave this place tonight, you will know that you did not waste your time. Many of you will go back and step into a fearful order of operation in this life see the bible says there are some beings that are celestial there are others that are terrestrial every man is not the same there is a plane that others walk in they walk like spirits they talk like spirits they are not bounded to the limitations of this realm many of you will go back and suddenly receive calls that things are shaking changing changing in your family uncles that have forgotten you will call you and send millions to your account i'm not motivating you i am prophesying to you
where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty now listen to me the Bible says for this purpose was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one the greatest miracle that can happen in this place is for you to come back to the kingdom there are many of us who have not made a personal commitment to love God and to begin to live by his principles you're not born again every time you hear the things of God there are many of us that frown at it now this is very important everybody listen the Spirit of God is in this place you've never made a decision for Jesus Christ or you have made a decision just carelessly and you've left the things of God there is love in this place and there is a big welcome I'm not asking you to think about it I'm not asking you to pray inside and outside right now leave your seat and run and come and give your heart to the Lord do that quickly you want to make a decision you're saying enough is enough please leave your seat inside and outside the Lord is calling you right now leave your seat and come the Holy Spirit is speaking to you you need to make your ways right I don't care if you're a pastor you're a bishop appreciate them as they come inside and outside the Holy Ghost is calling you it's a new beginning keep clapping motivate them appreciate them inside and outside the Bible says in the day that you hear his voice harden not your heart now it's a new beginning those of you outside the Lord is calling you do not reject his call you have seen his power you have seen his grace appreciate them we will wait for you appreciate them Satan you will not hold anyone bound appreciate them they are still coming the Lord is still speaking those outside don't let your friend hold you back it's a new season keep clapping as they come keep clapping as they come don't be tired hallelujah if you are still inside or outside while I'm speaking you can still come hallelujah now look at me for those of you standing I like you to know that we love you you're making the greatest decision that you have ever made in this life are you listening to me the greatest decision to make Jesus Lord of your life not just to become a Christian but to become a citizen of the kingdom this is the secret of victory this is the secret to a life of glory no matter what you have done men may condemn you but let me tell you there is love for you here I don't care what you have done nobody condemns you are you listening to me now all of you standing in front lift your hands as you pray this prayer after me say after me dear Lord Jesus it's not a special number say it out of revelation dear Lord Jesus I love you and I believe you died for me I believe you shed your blood for my sins and this night I make a decision to love you to live for you and to serve you I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare according to the word of God that I am born again Holy Spirit come and find a home in me teach me the laws of the kingdom and make me relevant in the kingdom from today I denounce sin and Satan I declare that I'm genuinely born again hallelujah let me pray for you father thank you for these ones they have expressed their desire and their love for you and for your kingdom for as many who will come Lord you will in no wise cast away I pray that that preserving grace will rest upon them that grace that preserves men and keep them everything that you have that has held you bound you are walking out of it as you go back in the name of Jesus I declare that you are free your sins are forgiven you in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. look at me this is the greatest decision that you have made never forget this day are you listening to me 
now i like you to just follow the ushers they're going to have details of your information and will follow you up adequately and pray with you this is the best decision i dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline